Okay, so this is inshallah about part four. So let us look at it. If you notice, this one is what? X plus three times X minus one. So the limit of the numerator, the denominator equals zero. So for sure, for that limit to exist, I need the limit of the numerator be equal to zero. Also note that function is continuous. It means the limit is the same as f at minus three. And also this limit, minus three, x goes to minus three. For this limit, it will be what? We guess integer. It will be a fraction, minus seven over four. So, Finding the limit is like substitution, that will be minus two. So from this, we have C, F of minus three, minus minus two equals zero. So it means F of minus three equals what? This plus two, minus two over C. That means limit as this goes to minus three, F of X over X minus one, will be f of minus 3 over minus 4, and that will be 1 over 2c, which is this one. Here, if you notice, if x goes to 0 from left, that means x plus 1 goes from 1 from left, so the greatest integer will be equal to 0. So if we take a value, point, take a value like point, uh, zero from left minus point oh oh one. These things will reach zero, while this one will not reach zero. So zero for non-zero, it will be zero. So that will be the answer. This is the way to look at it. Since you have the greatest integer for sure, any value it will be zero. Okay. This limit exists. Notice the limit of the denominator is equal to zero. That means limit of the numerator is equal to zero. That means what? Square root of P minus two equals zero. That means square root of B equal two. That means B equal four. Oh, now I, can, I will use this. So you, use B equal four. Find A, square root AX plus four minus two over X. I know it's equal to one, so let me do it by rationalizing. Do the calculation. You do what? You get what? AX plus four minus four. And X, the other AX plus four plus two. This is canceled, X with X. So I'm getting what a over zero over four. That should be equal to one. So a equal four. So two a minus b will be eight minus four, which is four. So this is the answer. It's just simple, simple calculation. Factoring, factoring, x minus three, x plus three. Oh, actually, if I check it, it will be zero over zero. Huh? Here we have what? 2 times 9, 18, minus 21 plus 3, so 0 over 0. So for sure, x plus 3 will be there. And they have 2x plus 1. Yeah, x, 6x, 7x, 2x squared. Cancel, substitute, minus 6 over minus 5, 6 over 5. Same thing, first I need to get rid of the absolute value. This is 2x minus 1. This is x squared, 2x minus 1. Look inside the absolute value. This is positive. As this goes to 2 half from left, this is negative. So it means everything is negative. So get rid of the absolute value by taking minus 1 outside. So it will be minus x squared, 
two x minus one. This is one cancelled. Substitute, you're getting one or plus one over minus half square, which is one over minus one over four. So the answer is minus four. This is you need to rationalize both the denominator and the numerator. Be careful when you do the calculation. Here multiplying this with this. So we have what six minus x minus four. The rest. Then do the multiplication, leave it in, in, in the brackets. This one times this. So I have what? 3 minus x minus 1 times the rest. So that is what? 2 minus x times the rest. Here the same, 2 minus x. Unless this cancelled. Substitute, this will be 2. Here we have 6 minus 2, square root of 4, 2 plus 2, 4. So that will be half. As we said before, if the limit of the one exists, the second one does not exist, for sure their sum does not exist. If the limit is goes to 5, it's equal to 2, and gfx equal to 0, then this limit may exist. No. It's impossible to exist since they have none zero over zero. So either it will be infinity or minus infinity or does not exist. So this is wrong. If this limit exists, none exists. We agreed in no, does not exist, and we did many examples. If the limit product exists, then the limit must be f of three times g of three. Uh, let me do that. The last one, we say infinity minus infinity is undetermined form. So it cannot be zero. So this is wrong. Also, this one wrong. I leave it for you to check. It's easy to check. We can do an example. Now this is squeeze theorem. X goes to six. As X goes to six, this one which will be one plus six square root of nine, which is four. This one goes to four, and this one goes to what? Thirty-six minus 30 minus 2 goes to 4. So for sure this one goes to 4. Very easy one. Rationalize. Multiply by this. Plus this. Over itself. Let me see what will happen. Limit t goes to 0. That will be 1 minus t square minus 1 plus t square. Be careful with the calculation. Over t square, the square root 1 minus t square, 1 plus t square. So what we have in the numerator, in the steps, 1 minus t square, minus 1 minus t square, over t square, over the rest. This cancelled, so you have minus t square, minus 2 t square, so t square cancelled to t square, so you have minus 2 t goes to 0, square root of 1 plus square root of 1, 2, so it will be minus 1. That's the answer. And first, I need to get a little bit of the absolute value. What is this? Okay, this goes minus 3 from left, so it's minus 3 point something, so this is a negative. So I have what? I have a limit. Is goes to minus 3 from left. This one x plus 3, x minus 4 over minus x plus 3. So this is cancelled. Substitute f minus 3 minus 4 minus 7 over minus 1, which is 7. So the answer is great integer. If x goes to 1 over 3 from left, that means 6x will go to what? It will go, multiply by 6, it will go 2 from left. That implies in the minus 6x, 
we'll go to minus two from right. Minus two from right. Minus two from right, which is minus 1.9 something, huh? So it will be the grace integer of minus six x minus two. That will be the answer. This limit equal to L, find L. Notice this one, limit x goes to minus three of this one, which is uh, what? x plus three, x minus two. So this is zero, very clear. So that means the limit of the numerator is zero. If the numerator is zero, uh -huh. we have what nine plus three a plus a minus thirteen equals zero, so a equal one. Huh? I have nine minus thirteen minus four for a, so a equal one. Substitute. I need the limit x plus minus three x square minus a x minus twelve minus x. I mean. Okay, uh, a is one, right? So, so it's minus x, one minus thirteen minus twelve over x plus three times x minus two. That should be equal to l. So that will be what? This is x plus three, x minus four. Is it minus twelve three x minus four x minus one? Yes. So we kill this, goes to minus three. So you have minus seven over minus five, which is seven over five, which is this. Here is integer of this. Uh, this is, does not exist. Integer, integer does not exist. So we need to check it right and left. See what will happen. This goes to 2 from right times 2x plus 4 from right means this is goes to 4 minus 2 from right which is minus 2 take 2 plus 2.01 so 4 point something minus 2.01 so it's minus 3 that is 1. Now this goes to 2 from left the same thing Two from left, 1.99 times two, it will be 3.9 something. So this is goes to three. And this one goes to, goes to what? Minus 1.99 goes to minus two. So the answer is one, they are equal. So the limit equals to one. This one, just you need to notice this is X squared. So, squeeze the theorem between minus one and one. Multiply by x minus one square, which is a positive value, so it will not affect the inequality. As x goes to one, this is goes to zero. This is goes to zero. So for sure, this is goes to zero by the squeeze theorem. Same idea. This is goes to zero. It means the limit as this goes to two of the numerator should be equal to zero. Uh, so that means what? You can say that the limit as this goes to two of g of x should be equal to 12. This is exist. This is exist. And this is exist. So this should be exist. Cannot be does not exist. So this should be 12. Find the limit. It exists. If it does not exist, show why. Use the symbols infinity and infinity as appropriate. Okay, this is grace integer, by the way. This one just simply rationalizing.
at you will get. You will get X square plus 9 minus 25 over X plus 4. So this is what is X square minus 16 or X plus 4. That will be what? X minus 4, X plus 4. Or X plus 4. Let's call it X squared plus 9 plus 5. This is cancelled. Substitute. We'll get what? Minus 8 over. Here we have 16 plus 9, 25, 5, 10. So the answer is minus 4 over 5. This is A. I will do C and I'll do B and, and D in the next in the next slide. Huh? So we have a space at least. Okay. This one you can think of it as what? This is the same as this. X square sine two over x. Note sine two over x will be sine two of one over x, double angle which is to sign the first ang the angle times cosine the angle. So this is with the two, we can make it like this. Now you squeeze theorem, sine two over x, two minus one and one, multiply by x squared, and you are done. This is goes to zero, this is goes to zero, it means the only divider goes to zero by sine two theorem. So this is equal to zero. Now we'll do B. This is great integer. Okay, it makes sense. Well, it does not make sense. This is four. But I think he missed the great integer. This is integer. This is integer. It means you distribute the limit. You are, or, or you cannot because it does not exist. It does not exist. It means nothing. I need to do it from right and left. It's go one from right. Of this plus this. Okay. One from right, one point something with two, it will be three point something. So that is three. Two minus one point something. Two minus one point something. It will be point nine nine. Am I right? It will be two minus one point something. It will be point nine nine. So it is zero. Three plus zero. And that is zero, three. Limit as this goes to one from left. This is one from left. Point nine nine. Two plus point nine nine, two point nine nine, which is two. In a two minus one. By nine, it will be one point something. So this is will be two plus one, which is three, both equal. So this limit equal to three. Now D, notice D. Limit x goes to zero from right, one over x. Don't forget, this is one over x. Zero from right, it goes to what? That's infinity. Limit. And this goes to zero from right for ln x. This is ln x. This goes to zero from right. This is goes to what? Minus infinity. So this is minus infinity. So this one will be infinity minus minus infinity, which is infinity plus infinity, which is infinity. Okay. This is the same. Idea limit x goes to zero, one minus cosine of the denominator is equal to zero, and I had the limit of the numerator should be equal to zero. This limit exists, this limit exists, it's equal to a value, their sum or their difference, it means this one should exist. So I have 
one minus this limit plus five equal to zero. And I have this limit will be equal to what? Six. The same thing I will do. Have five, I think I have three slides, two slides. We can do it in two slides, I think. They are easy. This one will be limit. Hmm. I need to check right and left. I know if I substitute the absolute value, I'm getting zero. So I need to do it from right and left. Part A, let me do A. Limit x goes one from right. It will be x minus one for x plus one. X plus one from right, so this one will be. This is positive, so that will be what? X minus one, X plus one over X minus one cancelled. Substitute, you get two. However, let me just go one from left. What you will do, what you will get. You will get. Um, yeah, same thing. But this is now is negative. So that will be limit. This goes one from left. X minus one, X plus one. This is minus X minus one. This is cancelled. So we're getting what? Minus two. So this limit does not exist. Let me do C because they are easy. Actually, we did it before. C, we did it before. It's the same. No need to do C. Okay. So let me do D. Let me do D. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 limit of the denominator we know it minus four very clear. So I will concentrate in the limit of the numerator. Using squeeze theorem, sine y over x between minus one and one, e will do no effect because it's a continuous increasing function. So it's not change the sign of the inequality. Square root of x, I need zero from right, so square root of x, we have no problem with it. Part two. Plus two. This is goes to two. This is goes to two. As this goes to zero from right. So this one goes to two by squeezing. Plus. So this is two. Zero minus four is minus four. So this is minus half. Okay. So the remaining is B and E. B and E. Okay. Let me do B here. So I have limit. Is goes to two. What I will do? Rationalize. Huh? Very clear. Rationalize. I think it's very easy one. One x minus one times this. That will be limit. Is goes to two of what? Four x plus one minus nine. Over x minus two. And this is what 4x minus 8, which is 4x minus 2. As this is cancelled, then 4 over is goes to 2. 4 times 2, 8 plus 1, 9, square root of 9, 3, 6, 2 over 3. E. This is integer, this is integer, so limit does not exist, limit does not exist, so I need to do it from right and left. Let me see, I'm getting a value or not. Plus integer. One minus X. X goes one from right. One, 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 one
put it here, it will be one. One minus one wish way. Let's see minus way. So this is will be minus one. So the answer is zero. Limit is goes to one from left. This integer of x. So one minus x. That should be what? That should be one from left. This done one, 0.999, put it here, it will be zero. Put it here, 0.999. One minus 0.99, it will be 0 0.001. So zero plus zero, which is zero. So this limit equal to zero. This limit exists, check the limit of the new denominator. Very clear, it's zero. That means the limit of the numerator. Should be zero. This limit exists. So for sure, this limit should exist. And all limits, I mean, the differences exist. So it means I have cosine zero, so I have one minus two limit x goes to zero, f of x equal to zero. So limit f of x as this goes to zero will be equal to half. This limit, I have two, two slides. So I think this is we did, or it did something similar. No, it's similar. So let me do it again. Yeah, the last one. This one, I think we did. Huh? Let me check. No, similar. That's OK. We'll do it again. Now, we'll rationalize this. I'm trying to do all of, all all the problems. So that will be limit x goes to one. I have what x square plus three x minus four over x minus one square root x square plus three x plus two. So that is what three x square plus three x minus four. Yeah. So that you can factor it to be what? X plus four times X minus one over X minus one square root X squared plus three X plus two. This is canceled, halas. So I have five over, you know, one plus three, two, square root of four, which is two, five over. Let me do C. Uh, yeah, let me do C like what we did before. And then I will do the next one, B and D. Yeah. Yeah, in C, you need to notice one thing. For sine square, if this is sine, if this is sine function. What will happen to sine square? Sine square will be something like this. And the same thing here, it will be positive. So as x goes to zero from right, as this goes to zero from right, when x goes to zero from left, sine square is always positive. So it will not affect the sign of the uh, inequality. So we'll do squeeze theorem, sine one over tan x is between minus one and one. Since sine squared is always positive, I can just multiply by it. Who cares? It's a positive value as it goes to zero from left or from right. Do not make a difference. So now, as x goes to zero, this is goes to zero. And this is goes to zero, so this is goes to zero by sandwich theorem. The only change, you know, this one goes uh, always positive. So it will not affect the sign of the inequality when you multiply by it. B, we did this before, it's minus infinity. For cosecant, 
let me graph the sign. The graph of sine, this is sine. Okay, and cosecant will be what? Will be something like this. So from the graph limit as it goes to zero from right of cosecant x, that will be plus infinity. So if you look at this, we know this is minus infinity, so it will be minus infinity, minus infinity, which is minus infinity. Okay. Now this one, D, for sure this is integer, integer, so it means we need to do it from right and left. One plus X. Think about two from right, nenu shway, mal one, had here three. One minus two point something. One minus two point something. Come had here. Had here. Uh, yeah. Fail one minus two point oh oh one. That's it. How they come? One shin ha one. Uh, one Yeah. The index one point minus one point oh oh one. Correct? Yeah, if you add this to this one, you're getting two point oh oh one. So this is minus one point oh oh one. So this is guess it will be minus two. So this is one. Limit x goes to two from left or the same thing. Two from left, I'm talking about 1.99, 1 plus 1.99, so it will be 2.99, so this is 2. Here, 1.99, 1 minus 1.99, 1 minus 1.99, that will be uh, minus 0.99, which is minus 1. So the answer is 1. So this limit equal to one, they are equal. Okay. I think we did this. No, it's the same. Yeah. So I'm going to do it again. This one. Uh, yeah. We we'll rationalize the denominator. It's a very easy one. And that will be limit x goes to three. By the way, you need to check all of them. Let's check this is will be zero over zero, huh? Yeah, for sure this is zero over zero. Uh, had to the ones, the ones before, huh? But the actually you need to check them in the zero over zero. If not, then then we can do the substitution, huh? All of these ones they are zero over zero. You can double check them. OK, so this is will be three minus X. The other X plus one plus two over what? X plus one minus four. Yeah, so I need a minus limit. X goes to three. Three minus X. The other X plus one plus two over X minus three. So this is cancelled. I need a minus sign here. Substitute. 3 plus 1, 4. Square root of 4, so it's minus 4. I will do C. I will do C. I know in the sign 1 over 2x is always between minus 1 and 1. This value is always positive. As x goes to zero from right, well, x goes to zero from left. So I don't care, I can multiply by it. That's it. As it goes to zero, that is goes one minus one, which is zero. This is zero. So this is zero by sandwich zero, but squeeze zero. 
B. Notice. One over x square. Let me do one over x square alone. We know this is one over x square. So as this goes to zero, this is equal plus infinity. Also, then uh, x squared is always positive. I mean, if x goes to zero, for sure x squared will go to zero from the right. So ln x squared goes to minus infinity. So this is minus infinity, minus infinity, which is minus infinity. This is B. C, I think we did something similar. No? Yeah, we did this. Which is, no, no, no. Uh, we did this for one. It will be the same idea. Uh, yeah, it will be the same idea. And I think the answer should be zero. Double check it. Okay. This one we did. This one I think we did. We did with three. We can't do it now. I think I have it. Yeah, I left to. Okay. Uh, you know, do it right and left. Let me do it quickly. This is A. For right, it will be. Let me do it in steps. It will be 2 minus 2.001, which is minus 3, which is minus 1. For left, it will be the same. A different way, but it will be the same value minus one. My 1.99 it will be one minus 1.99 it will be minus two. So minus one. So this is minus. I'll do C. No, this is x minus one square pass. Squeeze here. One over x minus one between minus one and one. Multiply by x minus one square. As it goes to one, this goes to zero, this is goes to zero, so this is goes to zero. By the squeeze. Yeah. Let me do B. Limit as T goes to zero. T over square root four minus T minus two. Rationalize. You get what? Limit t goes to zero. T four minus t plus two over this is what? Four minus t minus one. So this is cancelled. T with t substitute in the zero. We have what? Minus four. Correct? Yeah, four minus zero, two plus two, four. Cancelled minus four. Okay. Let me do d. Uh, D be careful. This is what? This is X minus five square. So the problem is limit X goes to five, three X minus five over absolute value X minus five. That is a tricky one. Mm. What will happen to the limit? The limit will be does not exist, but you need to check it from right. To get rid of the absolute value. So this is will be positive. So you can get rid of it. And the answer is three. However, if you do from left, these things will be negative. So you have what? Negative three. So the limit doesn't exist. 